Hi, I'm Don Ransberg, and this segment is called Input, Output, and Storage. The computer's main input devices are the keyboard and mouse. Other pointing devices include trackballs, pointing sticks, touch pads, joysticks, touch screens, and styluses. Additional input devices include speech recognition, optical character, barcode, optical mark, RFID, magnetic ink, and magnetic stripe readers, biometric input devices, digital cameras, and digital video cameras, and webcams. Monitors display data and processed information. There are two basic types of monitors, CRT and LCD. CRT monitors, considered legacy technology, are bulky and usually found on older systems. LCD monitors are thin, lightweight, and come standard on most systems and portable devices. The new OLED monitors that are even thinner than LCD monitors and have outstanding color, contrast, brightness, and viewing angles are gaining in popularity. Resolution, the sharpness of an image on a monitor, is controlled by the number of pixels on the screen. The higher the resolution, the sharper the image. Printers are output devices that produce hard copy. The most popular printers use inkjet or laser technology. Inkjet printers produce excellent quality text and images for a reasonable price. However, they are slow and ink cartridges may be expensive. Laser printers are faster and produce excellent quality text and graphics, but color models are expensive. Memory is a form of storage. However, it is temporary. Storage devices save programs, data, and information on non-volatile storage media. These types of media retain information even when the power is switched off. Storage media and devices can be categorized as read-only or read-write. Random access, magnetic, flash or optical, and secondary, either online or fixed, external or portable. The main method of storage on most systems is an internal hard drive on which the operating system and application programs are stored. Hard disk behavior is evaluated by its access time, positioning performance, and transfer performance. Disk cache is sometimes added to the circuit board of a hard drive to further improve performance. Flash drives, a form of portable storage, are considered solid state circuitry and have no moving parts. Within their plastic housing, data is stored on a chip electronically in sections referred to as blocks. Due to their lack of moving parts, quick storage capability, low power consumption, and lightweight design, flash drives are becoming the preferred method of portable storage. CD-ROMs and DVD-ROMs are the most popular and least expensive types of optical disk storage media. They use lasers to burn patterns of pits and lands to encode data. A CD-ROM can hold up to 700 megabytes of data, while a DVD-ROM can hold up to 17 gigabytes. A solid-state storage device consists of non-volatile memory chips, which retain the data stored in them even if the chips are disconnected from a computer or power source. These devices have no moving parts. They consist only of semiconductors. They are small, lightweight, highly reliable, and portable. In addition to the flash drives, other examples of solid-state devices are express cards, flash memory cards, and smart cards.